Dr. Doug Lucas here, retired orthopedic surgeon, now focusing my practice on bone health and longevity. Do you have osteoporosis or osteopenia and you've been told that a DEXA scan is the best test for your bones? That may not be true. There are several different tests that are variably available across the country and world, and some of them may be a better fit for you. Stick with me while I go through what those different testing modalities are, the ins and the outs of each one of those, but make sure you stay until the very end so that you can learn about what is my favorite test and why I think it is really the best test that we should do on a regular basis for people with osteoporosis. All right, so you've probably been told that you need to get a DEXA scan to measure your bones. So what is a DEXA actually doing? Well, let's start with what a DEXA actually is. A DEXA stands for Dual Energy X-ray Absorbed Geometry. So it's an X-ray and that's fine. It's a very low dose radiation. There's a basically laid on a table and a, a beam goes over your body and it tells you what the density of your bones is, what the quantity of mineralization of your bones is. And this gives you a sense of um, how dense your bones are and what your bone um, strength is. And I say strength in quotes because uh, it doesn't give you a sense of bone quality. And there are two components to strength. There's bone quality and there's bone density. And DEXA only tells you bone density. So DEXA is good because it is globally available. It is covered by most insurance and it's inexpensive even if it's not covered by insurance. And it does tell you if you have osteoporosis by definition, but there's some weaknesses too. There is a little bit of radiation. There's actually quite a bit of variability from machine to machine as far as what the results will actually be. Meaning that if you go get on a machine on one side of town and you get a DEXA scan, and then you get up and you go right over to the next machine on the other side of town and do a DEXA scan, you're likely to get different results. And they can be pretty dramatically different. Not only that from machine to machine, but also from tech to tech, meaning the operator of the machine actually has to be consistent for you to actually get the same result over and over again. So a DEXA scan, you really have to have the same machine, the same tech year after year to know that you're actually making progress. That's obviously not very realistic. The nice thing about DEXA is that it's globally available and it's covered by insurance and it does give us a starting point. But because of those weaknesses, there could be some better tests out there. All right, the second piece of technology I wanna talk about is TBS. It stands for trabecular bone score. Now this is actually the same starting point as a DEXA, meaning that you go and you get your DEXA scan, but you schedule your DEXA at a location where they have the TBS software. So not all locations have this, and you have to ask ahead of time, and your doctor has to order it that way if you're gonna get your insurance to pay for it. But what TBS is, is it's an add-on. So you have all of the benefits of DEXA that I just talked about, but now it also gives you a sense of bone quality. So now you can, you can understand a little bit more just uh, beyond what your bone quantity is or what your mineralization is, we actually now get a sense of what your bone quality is. Unfortunately, there are some weaknesses to this because it's still using an X-ray. Uh, the software can be fooled by uh, things in your spine, particularly in your hips, like arthritis, previous surgeries. So if, it, if it's not normal anatomy, the TBS software is not gonna be particularly helpful, but it is a little better than DEXA. So if you can get DEXA with TBS, probably better than DEXA. Sorry to interrupt, but if you're liking this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe to this channel. And most importantly, click the link below the video so that you can join our free masterclass where I'll go through all of the basics, how we diagnose, how we manage osteoporosis, and how you can do a lot of these things on your own. So get registered for that osteoporosis masterclass. Okay, the third technology that you may have been told about or may have been recommended is a CT. Now CT stands for computed tomography, the same thing as getting like a CAT scan. You've heard it probably referred to that way often. So a CT is basically many x-rays done in a, a circumferential fashion around the body and it gives you good three-dimensional data. CT data is awesome and that's, that holds true for bone health as well. So there is a thing called a dynamic CT uh, there's a few different words for it, but basically it's a computer algorithm where they get the CT data and they can give you a sense of certainly bone quantity like DEXA, but also bone quality like DEXA with TBS. It actually gives you really good information about the architecture of the bones. So it really looks at each individual section. Now that sounds really great and it is really great, 
but when you are getting multiple x-rays, you're doing it in a circumferential fashion, you're not talking now about a low radiation study, you're now talking about a, a moderate to high radiation study. Um, while it does give you great information, my concern about a higher radiation study is that this is not something that I wanna order on people year after year if we're in a program where we're trying to improve bone health for a long period of time. So I think there's a weakness there. Also insurance right now, coverage is spotty. At the time of this recording, uh, Medicare, said they were going to pay for it and then they actually pulled back and they did not end up uh, approving payment for this study so the the centers that i know that were doing this study have halted uh, because nobody wants to pay cash for a ct at a hospital because it's quite expensive so this is something that maybe we'll do more in the future i definitely see this as a, a great opportunity for preoperative planning from an orthopedic perspective if you need a hip replacement or spine surgery and they want to know exactly where you have uh, bone quality issues then then maybe this is a great study but probably not for what we're doing at optimal bone health probably not if you're trying to improve your bone health on your own okay so you made it to the end you get to hear what my favorite study is so i like what's called an echolite rems so rems stands for radio frequency echographic multispectrometry so or rems just easier to say but basically this is an ultrasound so the benefits of an ultrasound study is that there's no radiation you can do it in a doctor's office not in a hospital um, and there's very little then downside of potentially doing it on a more frequent basis. Now there's some debate as to how frequently you should potentially do it. I'm currently recommending for my patients once a year. Some patients want to do it more often than that if they happen to live close to one. And again, there's no downside because there's no radiation. There's, there's no potential harm. The challenges with REMS is you got to find one. Uh, they are not globally available. We're working to improve that uh, through our network. Um, if you can find one, then it is a cash pay um, item. I uh, don't believe it's generally very expensive. I usually find it in the $100 to $200 range uh, to get the test run. Um, and then you get a, a report immediately that you can then share with your team. So um, I really like Echolite REMS as the modality, potentially in addition to a DEXA, um, but definitely as a modality to help us to know if we are headed in the right direction with our treatment for bone health. All right, guys, thanks so much for listening. I really appreciate your time. If you liked this content, please like and subscribe to this channel. If you subscribe, then we'll be able to send you notifications to let you know when we post a new material. More importantly, if you know anybody that would benefit from this content, please share this with them so that they can learn more about osteoporosis and osteopenia and they can continue to uh, go down their own journey and to help improve their bones and improve their quality of life. Lastly, if you want to learn more about osteoporosis, sign up for our free masterclass in the link below. We're going to do these at regular intervals. And my goal with this masterclass is to be able to pr provide you guys with information that you can then use on your own to help not only understand why you're losing bone, but how you can potentially stop and reverse that bone loss and cut through all of the noise around the nutrition and supplements and all the different things that you hear in this space around osteoporosis and bone health. So I hope you found that helpful. Thanks so much for listening.